Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about that how we can show UI action to our workspace. So if you see that this is the incident record. In this incident record, we have created a new UI action called work in progress. What is this work in progress button used to do that? So this is a custom work in progress button. Whenever this um, button I will click that, the state will be changes to new to in progress. This button will be visible only if your incident is new or in on hold state and whenever you will click that uh, work in progress button this button will actually update the state of this incident call uh, new to in progress so that's it this is a simple work in uh, this is a simple ui action if i open this ui action if you see that uh, in this uh, uh, ui action the name is work in progress this table is uh, incident table this is a form ui action and if i scroll down i have put the condition if state is one or the state is 3 it means the new and on hold new or on hold in that case this UI action will be visible and once I click that the UI action will be update the state equal to work in progress so this UI action I want to show or make visible to our workspace so if you see that I have not uh, done anything like if I check this workspace form button here enable and if I check this configurable button this checkbox check is that uh, UI action is going to be visible in our workspace? Where should be visible this UI action? This UI action, I am expecting that that should be visible under this record page. We have a record page we have created last step. In this record page, we have multiple UI action. You can see uh, these are the UI action are available. So if I want to show uh, my UI action in here, how can I do that? So that is my requirement here. So I want to show this work in progress button from uh, like incident here. I want to show that button here also, right? How can I do that? So that is our requirement. So let's do that. The first thing that if I check this form uh, workspace form button or this box, uh, format for capable workspace, this checkbox check is that button will be visible there. Let's see if I save that. So you can see that uh, one option is saying that UX form actions and form action layout record created um under a work in progress what does it mean by that we'll come that little bit later so if i go here and refresh here our uh incident form is that button is visible no the button is not visible here okay so we can see that the button is not visible even though it's saying that some uh, form action and form action layout item is created still it is not visible okay so we'll go step by step how we can do that even if you think about that if you want to remove one of these components from here let's say that you want to remove the compose email sections or ui action how you can do that so that thing we are going to talk about our today's session so let's do one by one the first thing is that if you go here in the left navigation and then type called now experience under this now experience you will be able to see that one thing called um declarative action so we have a module called declarative actions what is the declarative action we'll talk a little bit later but under this declarative action there is one module called action configuration we have to open this action configuration as this is our custom uh, newly created workspace from the scratch so we created from our own from the scratch everything we have done from ourselves in that case normally this ui uh, ux con actions configuration are not created but if you see that if you talk about any hr related workspace like hr agent or cmdb related there are some uh, ux config action configuration is already created so as we have created from the scratch we don't have anything created under this ui action configuration under this action configuration we don't have anything so what is the first step the first step is that create a ux actions configuration so step number one will say that we need to create a action configuration now once you created that you can see that under related uh, um, option there are multiple uh, related list one is called all declarative action, UX form action, action bar action, list action, field decoration, related list, lot of things are there. So we will talk this little bit later. First, we have created this UX um, action configuration called demo workspace. Now, what we have to do? 
we have to go here and then under here you will be able to see called experience so we'll go again experience experience is what experience is the application that we have created so you can see that experience is nothing but ux application what is our experience name our experience name is demo we have created earlier so we'll open our experience name called demo under this um, ux uh, application or experience you will be able to see that one property we have created called chrome tab this property we have created to make uh, our uh, workspace tabable if you recall that in our past sessions we did that one of these sections called one create we created one properties called chrome tab so similarly we are going to do same things so we are going to create another property so what is the property name property name i have listed down called action config id so this is our another property name so we will put that this is the property name we'll copy this property name and go and create a new property here under this uh, experience so we'll say that the name equal to this one now we put the name we'll put the under the suffix the same thing and under this value what should be the value the value name should be that um, ux action configuration that we have created that we'll copy and paste here so we'll simply copy this uh, CCID and paste here and simply save that once we save that you can see that this has been saved now if you see that what will be happen this experience or this workspace is now all these forms and list will be controlled through these configuration actions okay now next step is that we have declared that uh, configuration and we have mapped that our uh, with the workspace it means that all these forms and list will be controlled through these our ux actions configuration now what we are going to control the first thing is that we are going to control that form so this is you can see that under ux form actions layout we are going to control that so what we'll do we'll click new and then we are going to create a new form okay so let's say that the form name is we are going to say that so this is our form layout uh, under this demo workspace configuration for which table we'll select that table name called incident so what did we create it we created a form actions layout so we'll create a form action layout once we created form layout actions you can see that 11 form layout uh, items are already pre-populated uh, by default you can see these 11 uh, items are pre-populated here directly okay because they are under the global um, things so that's pre-populated here okay now if i go back again under this action configuration to show you or to navigate you how we can go that so we created a call uh, action configuration here action configuration here called demo workspace demo workspace after that we go to this uh, action uh, under this property we created a property called action configuration and paste this csid step number csid here here and then after that under this ux actions configuration we created a form layout action we created a form layout here form actions layout and here under this we call that incident demo workspace and then we define that for which table that is incident table and after we created that there are some ui action pre-populated automatically call you can see that ux forms action layout it's pre-populated with that 11 item now let's see that magic so if you want to remove one of these button for example you want to remove this uh, let's say that um, say delete one delete uh, UI action how can you do that simply you go here under this 11 item pre-populated you will see that this is a delete button you just need to be remove that we'll go edit here and then simply remove the delete ui action from here so we'll just re remove here and then save that so what will be happen uh previously it was 11 item now it's have a 10 item you can see these are the 10 item and if i refresh here in that uh, our workspace 
So if I click here, you can see that our delete UI action is removed here. So it is clearly indicating that everything is right now controlled under this call incident demo workspace or you can see that demo workspace configuration uh, from the demo workspace configuration and the incident or demo workspace this form layout action. So right now these are the items are available right now. So next step is that we should add our UI action. So the UI action we created called work in progress. This UI action we should add here under this form layout action. How can we do that? If we click that new button, you will be able to see that you are actually landing to another table called form action layout item. So this is the another uh, options called form. So this is the form lay, uh, form action layout item here. You have a name. So let's say that we'll say that working progress. Uh, the label will copy and paste here. Okay. What is the item type? We'll say that uh, we have a two options called actions and then group. We'll select that actions, and then after that you have a we have to select the actions name. Okay. So you can click there and then you can select the actions name. Now we have to define that also the table name. What is the table name? The table name is called incident table. We'll select that incident table. And then once you select the incident table, uh, you can see that you will be able to select that all this incident table related uh, actions. So there is another table called uh, sys UX form actions where actually it's landing. So we'll click again call new and then here we'll define the uh, name you can see this is the name here you can define that name so we'll say that work in progress and here you have it options called ui action or declarative action so are you going to use the ui action or declarative action depending on your use case for our case, we are going to use the UI action. We'll change this table name to incident again. And then here we will see that our uh, button name called work in progress will select that. Okay. So we created another thing called form actions. So that is a uh, under this form action, we have selected that work in progress. We'll simply submit that. So here we selected that our uh, button, we put that name called work in progress and then simply uh, submit that. So as you can see that what are the steps we have performed, we have created a UI action configuration. This is a one time steps. Now if in future, if you want to create a UI action, you don't need to create this UX con action configuration. You can use that. Now we have created a property so that we know that under this, uh, from which property this is pointing. So we pro created a property called action configuration item which select that UX action configuration under this there is a form layout action. So we define that form layout action under this form layout action we have a form uh, actions item and under this form action item we have a form actions where we are actually selecting our UI action. So let's go here you can see that right now our uh, work in progress this is actually showing here under this form actions layout item so this is our form actions this is our action configuration name called demo workspace let's go back and refresh our screen here and you can see that work in progress button is visible right now before save button so if you want to change the position of this work in progress you can simply go back here and then here you can see that our uh, save is 100 here and then work in progress order is zero you can put that 300 as a example and what will be happen save will be go and you can see the work in progress is come under the bottoms and if we refresh here the button should be changed to their position you can see that save button changes to this uh, come to the forward and then work in progress move to that right side now if you see that the color the color is little bit a uh, primary color you can change this color also you can go here then you can open this um, you know item and here you have the options called variant you can change this variant to secondary and simply save that what will be happen 
your button will be little bit updated you can see that it's updated with this work in progress with that without primary actually so this way you can actually make visible to your ui action to your um workspace so that's it for today if you have any question let me know in my comment section thank you very much have a great day